So when you get a new bundle of fluff and you start taking them out for the first time, everybody is gonna wanna come over and say hello to your cute little puppy. And it can be problematic for a few reasons. So if you have a little sensitive puppy, you can imagine if they're feeling a bit nervous, everybody coming over trying to stroke them um, is not gonna do anything to build the confidence. So don't be afraid to ask the person, and this could be in the home as well, as long as, as well as out and about on a walk, to just, if you wouldn't mind just standing still, a little bit sensitive, um, and then my puppy can choose to go towards you, or actually it's okay if they just wanna stay by me. Also, if you have a more excitable puppy, um, everyone's coming to say hello, then potentially the other people are gonna reinforce your puppy for excitable or jumping up behaviors. Um, and your puppy is just learning to just jump up. So remember, prevention is key. Anytime your dog performs a behavior, whether that be something good or something undesirable, that behavior will grow with each repetition. So really, like with any undesirable behavior, prevent, prevent, prevent. So some really quick tips for that is when you're out on about and you see someone coming ahead, you think, mm, my puppy might wanna jump up at them. All I would do is get a sprat or a high value reward, just place it near your puppy's nose and just lure past like with this video. So I see someone coming, I think my dog might jump, treat on the nose and just gently lure past. Uh, practice this with friends and family because it just means you're gonna be more equipped when you're outside. So see someone coming, treat on the nose, lure past and we'll prevent in the dog from rehearsing jumping up at people. So another option could be, you could see someone coming up ahead, you think mm, they probably wanna say hello to my puppy, I've got zero chance of luring them past. Um, so you could just kneel down, gently hold their uh, collar or harness so you're preventing your puppy from jumping up and I would just feed for calm behaviour and four paws on the floor and it's a bit of a more of a distraction and it will save your puppy from jumping up at the other person. Now, if, you're, if we deem it appropriate and your puppy is confident around people, then you could say to that other person, okay, now I've got the dog under control, you can come and say hello. If your puppy is a little bit more sensitive, remember, be your puppy's advocate. There is nothing wrong with saying, well, actually, they're a little bit nervous. Um, I wouldn't mind if you, if you didn't say hello this time. Uh, have a look at this video. So I'm walking down the road. I spot someone coming. I get the impression they want to say hello. So I'm just going to gently hold the dog's collar, lead or harness, and then I'm just going to feed. So I'm preventing the dog from jumping. It's preventing the other person from reinforcing the dog from jumping up. And the dog's attention is on me. They've got a nice interaction there. Lovely. So this can also be a really useful technique with other dogs as well, passing other dogs. So if your puppy's really excited every time they see a dog, again, just like with people, I just have a sprat on the dog's nose and just lure past. And it saves your dog from lunging, jumping toward, barking at other dogs out and about as well. So I see a dog coming up, just gonna put a treat on the nose, lure past, and it just saves any pulling towards the other dog, jumping up, barking, treat on the nose, gently lure past. Now these are preventative techniques, so we're preventing undesirable behavior from occurring. We also want to look at actually training your puppy. Well, how do I greet people? How do I greet dogs? And we'll cover that in another video.